I just love eating bars of soap. We've all done it. You find a file on Thingiverse, you think, that looks so cool. You go to your printer, you print it out, and then it fails, and you find out that you need an Ultimaker 3 that's super accurate to print it. This happened to me just yesterday. Um, I printed this little fidget thing. This is not supposed to be in like that. It's supposed this end is supposed to be connected to that. And anyway, it was a complete fail. Um, the hinges didn't work at all. It's it's it didn't work. And the reason why is because I have an A8 cheap Chinese kit, which is monetarily perfect for me. But um, it can't print those really accurate hinges and stuff and bridges. So and I'm fine with that. I've never had to need that in the past. So what I've done is I've designed a fidget cube. Essentially the same thing as that. Instead of hinges that interlock and slide back and forth, I've made hinges that actually bend. Not with normal PLA plastic, but with this flexible PLA plastic. It prints out like this and it's super, super, super flexible. So um, what I've essentially done is replaced every single one of the... I've taken this file, actually I have taken this file, I've made my own file and copied it a little bit from this so I could see where the hinges were and just made it connected with a very about one millimeter thin layer of plastic. And then, because it's flexible, it should flex and bend in those hinges. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Everyone who owns a 3D printer wants it to look sleek in a mean machine, okay? They want it to look awesome. Black is a very good color for that. But then, it all gets ruined when they have to use this stuff. That's right, blue tape. Blue tape is the nemesis of good looks on a 3D printer. It just ruins it. It's like... Sleek finish then blue tape and it's like uh if you just have a cheap Chinese printer with a little in a bed, it's about all you can do unless you want to buy some expensive products or a new glass bed which aren't cheap. So here's a really really cheap way to get plastic prints to stick to an aluminum bed. First of all, it must be heated at 60 degrees for PLA, usually about 80 or above for ABS. I don't have ABS, that's just an estimate, but at least for me. PLA 60 is fine. Most people use 60 for ABS. Um, usually only need 40 at the most for PLA, but because you're printing on a limited bed, you need that extra heat to get it to stay molten so it stays on the bed until it cools down fully. So, once your bed is heated, or you can do this when it's not heated well, but I actually you should do it when it's heated that way, when it contracts, doesn't bad stuff happens. You see I have this stuff in my bed. This, I mean, I think having this little mess up is better than this, and I did not take a knife and scratch this up. This is just dried glue stick. Just take any any old glue stick should work and you just do a very, very light coat. You don't need this really thick. You because you don't you want the same level as the bed, otherwise, you know, that the uh, extruder will start digging into it and not good stuff. But all you're doing is you're getting rid of the smooth finish and making it a rough finish, something for the um the stuff to uh, grab onto. You don't want it um you want it fully dry because you're not actually creating an adhesive because you don't really need the adhesive. What you need is the crevices for the um on a microscopic level, it creates all these cavities, and that allows the uh, the molten plastic to seep in and hold on. So what you do is, um, this is about 36, so it's, it's you know, warm enough. Just do a nice light coat like that, and that's pretty much all you have to do, then just let it dry. You don't want to print on this one it's wet, you want to make sure it's dry. So as you can see, it adheres to the bed quite nicely. Alright, so this is the final product, Fidget Cube. I haven't yet broken the seals yet, but essentially it has hinges in the same place. So um, this is a hinge right there because there's no line between it. So let's go ahead and just start cracking this over. So that's just how the hinge works right there because it's flexible filament. It just bends right over. Do the same on all the other sides too. I think this turned out pretty well. I mean, it does have a tendency to spring back to the, the position in which it was printed in, but that's natural since it's rubber and it does want to conform to the original position in which it was formed, but all in all I think it's a pretty good little fidget cube. So down in the description below you can get the link to download this and print it yourself. I suggest using a PLA flexible filament for this, it seems to work the best. You could use another flexible filament if you want, Ninja Flex, any of those would work, but I found the best results with the flexible PLA. I'm Josiah, thanks for watching.